right now, Jesus say what? I am the the light of the world. We are set away on the hill, on the city, where we cannot be hidden. Where we cannot be hidden. But majority of the Christians today, they are hidden. Your beauty is hidden. Your talent is hidden. Your capacity is hidden. You can't do nothing because you are afraid. Thank God for the God Prophet. He's just amazing. Matthew chapter 5. If you can go there, then you will understand what I'm saying. Verse 14. We will start from there. Glory to the Almighty God. When you are there, please do read it in a loud voice together. Mm. Can you repeat that together? We read it since it's on, it's on, it's on the screen. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Stop. I want you to read it as you are reading to yourself, not you. Say me or I. Say I. One, two, three. I am the light of the world. Yes. That is set on a hill. Yes. Cannot be hidden. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this word. We proclaim you, Lord, and we pray that this word shall bring impact in our soul. Lord, after reading this word, our life will never be the same again. We come against every spirit that is opposing to the word of God. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We proclaim you, Lord, and we say, come and have your way. Right here, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, back off and leave the people of God free. May their mind be ready to receive. May their heart be ready to make a decision. And may their lips be ready to confess that the Lord is with us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen clap for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Now while that verse is there, we cannot move it for now. Leave it there, and, but you can read for me Genesis chapter 1 and go slowly, slowly as we go in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Quickly. Genesis chapter 1. Yes, from which version are you reading? Uh, NLT. Yeah, go on. Yeah, please, in, in, in fact, put it on the, on, the, on the screen and begin to go, all right? All right? That is which, no, no. Remove this version. This is King, King James. Put um, American Standard or Living Bible. Any other version? There's a reason I want that. If you have on your version, you can read it while we are putting there on the screen. In the beginning. In the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and empty. And the earth was formless and empty. And darkness covered the deep waters. Darkness covered the deep waters. And the spirit of God was hovering. And the spirit of God was hovering. Over the surfaces of the waters. Over the surfaces of the waters. Then God said. Before you move on. Over the surface of what? The waters. Not over the surface of the water. But over the surface of the waters. The waters. Meaning there were many waters. Uh huh. Continue. Then God said. And then God said. Let there be light. Let that be light. And there was light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Ah. Then God saw that the light was good. Remember, we're talking about the light here. Then God saw that light was what? Good. All right. Then He separated the light from the darkness. Then He separated the light from darkness. God called the light day. God called the light day. And the darkness night. And darkness night. And evening passed. Evening passed. And morning came. And morning came. Marking the first day. Marking the first day. Then God said. And then God said. Let there be space between the waters. Let there be space between the waters.
waters. Remember, I say the waters was many, yes? To separate the waters of the heavens. To separate the water from heavens. From the waters of the earth. Uh -huh. Now, listen, this God is talking about separating the waters from heaven. Okay? And meaning there was different type of waters. Waters was many. Okay? And I want you to really careful to understand something and where you are going. Yes? And that is what happened. Uh huh. God made this space to separate. God made a space to separate. The waters of the earth. Uh huh. The waters of the earth. From the waters of the heaven. And the waters of the heaven. I want you to understand that there's a water from earth and there's a water from heaven. God ah. called the don't, space. Don't be faster, my, my dear. You listen to me. Are you preaching? Can I give you a microphone to preach? Yeah, so follow my instructions. All right, there was a water from heaven and water from her. Uh -uh. Am I preaching myself? From, from the earth and from the waters of heavens. <laughs> water from heaven and water from earth. That is one of the things that you need to learn today because most of the people sometimes when you read the word of God, you just. Do, 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 do. But you need to read and understand. understand. If you don't understand, that's the reason why you see many people are not blessed. Even when you pray, you don't know how to pray. Why? Because you don't understand the word of God. But if you understand certain things, it becomes easy for you to pray. And when you pray, the prayer you pray, you're going to get an answer because you are praying correct. Okay? So that's why I'm reading slowly. I want you to understand. Water, he said, he said, he said and separate the water under the, the, the expenses of the, uh, 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 of, of the waters above the air. Uh, the expenses. When they talk about expenses, there he's talking about firmament. He's talking about, okay, the 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 thing that separates earth and heaven. heaven. Okay, they call it firmament. Okay, so that firmament of heaven, there is water above and there is water under. Okay, that's why on this version they make it even clear. They say water of the earth and the water of the heavens. heavens. Continue on yours. God called the space sky. Uh huh. God called the space what? Sky. sky. Okay. Yeah. Is it is making is making sense now, right? So as you see the sky there, okay, you must know there's a sky. Okay. When you see the sky, on the right, if if you want to look at it properly, when you see the sky there, it is the firmament. But above the sky, there are waters. You understand now? Continue. And evening passed. Uh huh. And morning came. And morning came. Marking the second day. Marking the same day. Then the God said. And God said. Let the waters between the sky flow. You see now? Let the water between the what? The, the sky, sky flow. flow. Why? Continue. Together into one place. Together into one place. That means there was water, okay, in the sky. And God make all those water to come together. There were many of them. Are you hearing me? God said, let, so all of this place, there were water. So God put it aside. Okay? To make space so that in another, another side, it will create a land that we call earth. Are you with me? So God makes sure that all the water come in this side and another space, God make it earth. Continue reading. So dry ground may appear. So that dry ground may appear. That's the earth that you and I are sitting on. Right? And that is what happened. That's what happened. God called the dry ground land. That God called the dry land. And the water seas. And the water seas. So the seas is that side. Now the earth is here. But if you look at that geographic, geographically, the earth, the water is where? Sometimes you see some of the water we see, right? But some of the water we don't see is on under the sea. Okay, go on, go on. And God saw that it was good. Uh huh. Then God said, Yes. Let the land sprout with vegetation. Uh huh. Every sort of seed bearing plant. Yes. And trees that grow seed bearing mm. fruit. Yes. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees. Yes. From which they came. Mm. And that is what happened. Yes. The land produced vegetation. Yes. All sorts of seed bearing plants. Mm. The trees with the seed bearing fruit. Mm. Their seeds produce plants and trees of the same kind. Yes. And God saw that it was good. Yes. And evening passed. Mm. And morning came. Yes. Marking the third day. Yes. 
Then God said, God said, let lights appear in the sky. Let light appear in the sky. Light appear in the sky. Yes? To separate the day from the night. To separate the day from the night. Let there be signs to mark the seasons. Uh-huh. Days and years. Uh-huh. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. So we are living on earth as we are here. And when you see the day comes, like now, we are in the day, all right, is the light that is coming from the sky. Is the light coming from where? The from the sky. So God actually set it up. Just the same like we set this light up here. Are you hearing me? So God actually set it up in the sky. As you see, the sky there is actually electrified by the light that God puts. And God himself automatically has program it that it will only shine between this time and this time. And when it get to this time, those lights will now do what? Become dim. Are you with me? This light will become what? Dim. That means it will not shine anymore. It will be now the other light that was also created now to shine a little bit during the night. Okay? So, I want you to understand while you are here, that they are a system that is programmed to give us light. There's a system that is programmed to give us what? Light. To enable us to work on the day. That's why we call it day. Okay? So while I'm saying this, I'm trying to make you understand what the Bible says. Okay? In John chapter 8, verses 5, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. the world. I am the light of what? The world. the world. It means Jesus is what? The light. The one that is giving us this light is Jesus. And that light that is being said there is what? Jesus. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. When God said, let that be what? Light in the beginning, it was Jesus that was released to the world. Are you with me? So, when God saw that light was good and darkness, God said, all right, I'll call the light what? Day. So, I want to prophesy to you to tell you that every day you wake up, Jesus wake up in your life. Amen. You did not get what I'm saying. Ah. Every day you wake up, Jesus wake up in your life. Amen. Because the Bible says, when is a day? He said, when, he said God make call a day what? A light. That means a light is Jesus. That means the day is Jesus. When you see a day, that means you are now waking up with Jesus. You are in another day. That means there is a hope. That's what the Bible says. Christ in me. There is what? A hope. As long as that the light is in you, there is what? A hope. But when the light is shut down, there is no hope. Because the moment light is illuminated in your life, what comes is called darkness. And darkness is the symbol of death. So, death, death is, a sim death, death is darkness. Light is Jesus. Jesus. That is why most of the time if someone died, they do what? They will, uh, they will do what? Light. They will light a candle. Amen. Because he himself is no longer alive. They are lighting a candle to celebrate a life that lived before. Finish. Go, and that is what happened. Uh -huh. God made two great lights. The larger one to govern the day. Uh -huh. And the smaller one to govern the night. Oh, I like that. God made two lights. The greater one to what? To govern the day. Woo! I love that one. And the smaller one? To govern the night. Aye, aye, aye. I love that one. It is a revelation by itself, but you take someone to understand the things of the spirit. And the Bible is simply saying that before anything, the one that was created before that was greater was Jesus because he was the world. Oh. Hallelujah. So in as much as the boss were sons of God, but one is greater and one is lesser. The light that produces life is Jesus, and the lesser light that produces darkness represents Lucifer. 
You don't understand what I'm saying to you. I, I, I don't know if I need to teach you this for you to understand how the things is working. There was a greater light that influenced the day. But there was also a lesser light. Ah, sometimes people, when they walk like this, they believe that the Bible says that Satan discusses dis- himself as what? The angels of but he is not. When you are working with Satan, you might think like you're working in a light. Why? Because it gives you a fake light. <laughs> it gives you a fake light. And that light cannot affect the world. That light can only affect something and some people around you with a small uh, 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 you know, impact that light is, he, he has. That light cannot affect life. That life can only affect yourself while you are working in the dark. But here we are talking about the light, the greater light. Ah, look at the number say the greater light. Ay, ay, ay. The greater light. Look at the number say the greater light. Ay, ay. Look at, I want you to understand the meaning of these things and you will understand better what I'm trying to say to you. How can God put a greater light? To shine the day. While the day is already brighter. Why did God create a greater light to shine the day that is already brighter? And the night that is already darker. Instead of him put a greater light, God put a small. Ah, you don't understand what I'm trying to say to you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because it is clearly that God is supposed to put a greater light in the night. Why? Because the night is too darker. We need a greater light in order to do what? You know, to, uh, to, to, to illuminate the, 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 the darkness. Hallelujah. And to influence the day, but the, the night. But yet God say the greater light is to do what? Is to impact, is, is, to, is, is to do what? The greater light is for what? For the day. It's for the day. Hallelujah. To influence the day. But there's lesser light for the night. I pity you people who like to walk on the night. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I want to. I want. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to say to someone here that you are greater than witches. I don't know why you are afraid. You are greater than the witches. You are greater than the wizard. You are greater than them that fly in the night. Because the only time they can fly is in the night. They cannot fly in the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't understand. That's why you see there are some animals they can only see in the night. <laughs> there are some animals they can only see in the night. They are limited to see the day. But there are some animals they see in the day and they see in the night. I don't know who I'm talking to. I am an eagle. I don't need to see in the night. I see in the night. I see in the day. I am an eagle. I don't need to be closer. I can be too far, but I can see. I am an eagle. When you look for me in the day, I'm already up. When you fetch me from the up, I'm on the other side. Because in me, there's a greater life. Ah, look at the number say, I am a greater light. Greater light. Ooh, sit down, sit down. Oh, yes. ah, uh, we have not gone anything any, any, anywhere yet. We're still on the foundation of the word of God. Oh, yes. Can I preach you today? Oh, yes. uh, look at the number say, I am the greater light. Ay, ay, ay. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says that you are the light of the world. Ay, ay, ay. Now, let me understand. Let me let, 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 let me make you understand what the word say. Matthew 5 14 say, You are the light of the world. Ah, come and beat your chest. Say, I am the light of the world. Oh, look at and say, I am the light of the world. And now Jesus say, What? I am the, the light of the world. That John chapter 8, okay? Verse 14 say that, okay? Now go to um, John chapter 9. And verse 5 or so. See what the Bible says again. Ah, I want you to understand certain things that are very, very important. Quickly put it there. Put it there. We're still on the foundation of the word of God. Jesus is Lord. Hmm. Help me. Matthew John. Uh, sorry. John chapter five, chapter 9 verse 5. Please. 
please read quickly. We don't need to waste John your chapter nine, verse five. Yes, he said, John chapter nine, verse five. Yes. But while I'm here in the world, look at this. This is Jesus now saying, okay? Jesus say, but while I am what here on the world. Yes. I am the light of the world. Jesus say, while I am here in the world, I am the light of the, the world. world. Okay, continue. Then he spit on the ground. Then he spit on the ground. Made oh. mud with saliva. Oh God. And spread the mud over the blind man's eyes. Jesus Christ. He told him, uh -huh. go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam hey. means scent. Uh -huh. So the man went and washed and came back seeing. Okay, I want you to see something here. Jesus said, while I am in the world, I am what? So Jesus is no longer in the world, is he? Because Jesus died on the cross, isn't it? All right, so now Jesus was talking to us. He said, while I am in the world, not in the heaven, in the world, I am the light. So meaning, while he's not here, he's not... <laughs> <laughs> he said, while I'm here on earth, I am the light. Meaning, if I am not in the world, I am not. The light. Because I am only the light because I am here. Ah, but I want you to understand, that is the verse that Jesus was saying. That is why before he goes, he gave a promises on what we just read here. On Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Then he said, he said, you are the light of the world. Now, I want you to understand something what Jesus said. He said, I am what? The light of the world. And I want you to understand the world that Jesus is talking about. Jesus is not talking about the world being America, Zimbabwe, you know, and South Korea. No, Jesus is not talking about that. Jesus is talking about the body. He's talking about your body. That is the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world. God did not love the world. The world he loved the man. <laughs> God did not love the world. God loves you. He loved the man. So he sent his begotten son to come and save you. All right? So Jesus said that while I am in the world, when I am with you, I am the light. When I am with you, whether in the darkness, I am there, I shine you. But when I go, I come and I dwell in you. That's why the Bible says that if any man, in, any man is, in, is in Christ... Amen. So when Jesus, when you receive Jesus Christ, he comes in your life, and that light that was in the world comes now in your body. So your body becomes the world that Jesus is talking about. Are you with me? Are you with me? So your body becomes what? That world Jesus is talking about. Hallelujah. Because, so, oh, because Jesus is no longer there. So what, are, are we in the, in the darkness now? No. Jesus is inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is what? Inside of you. Amen. Do you believe Jesus is, is in you? Amen. Do you believe Jesus is in you? Amen. I said, do you believe Jesus is in you? Amen. That is why I say greater he that is in me than the one that is in the world. Because when he's inside of you, is the greater light. So he illuminates every darkness that is around you. Because he dwells in you. Hallelujah. That's why I said, whosoever work in the light, he does not fear. That's what the Bible says. It says, whosoever work in the light does not fear. But whosoever work in the darkness, fear. Why? Because you are working in the darkness and you don't have light. Hallelujah. 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 But when you're working with the light inside of you, then the word of God becomes applicable in your life. Then you begin to, oh, you begin to proclaim Psalm 20, uh, 23 to say that even though I work in the shadow of the valley of death, I fear no evil for God. Uh, I, I want you to understand that you are the light of the world. Uh, you did not hear what I said. I said you are the light of the world. You can affect many people around you. But the reason why we don't affect people around us is because we don't know who we are. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you be a light but you can't impact the people around you? Amen. 
The Bible say, the Bible say that we are set on the hill. Amen. Amen. We are set where on the hill, on the city where we cannot be hidden, where we cannot be hidden. But majority of the Christian today they are hidden. Your beauty is hidden. Your talent is hidden. Your capacity is hidden. You can't do nothing because you are afraid. You feel people are going to laugh at you. You people are going to criticize you. You think that people are going to say anything about you. And you can't do anything. Your life is still into a bondage. Because you are feeling like you are limited. No. You are the light of the world. Hallelujah. Without you in your family, darkness is going to cover everything. Without you in your family, there is darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Without you in your family, people will not be seen. People will never be discovered. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Aye, aye, aye. Listen for me. There is no place where light cannot enter. You did not hear what I'm saying. There is no place where light cannot enter. Hallelujah. Yes. Now you need to understand your impact of the light. The light can enter every way. In the sea, in the darkness, the light can enter every way. Hallelujah. You have the ability to enter every office you want to. You have the ability to enter every realm you want to. Aye. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. You see, the reason why many Christians are not progressing in life is because you believe other people only are allowed to do certain things and you are not allowed to do it. That is why a lot of things in your life might not move. Are you with me? But if you begin to believe that you are the light of the world, that Jesus is inside of you, you can do all things through Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The light we are talking here, it is not the energy that gives you life. There are two things that you need to understand there. There's a life that you live and there's a light. Okay? Hallelujah. Amen. The light we are talking about here, we are talking about the influences and the presence of Jesus. The influence and the presence of God in you. We are not talking about the life you possess. The life you possess, God gives you that life to live. But the influence to do things and to make things, to make a difference in this world comes from Jesus. And that is why it's on people. You say, ah, man of God. So the influence is in me. The inf the Jesus in, me, in you is an influence, right? Hallelujah. Because everybody else on this world, they have a right to live. Amen. Everybody in this life, they have a right to live. Amen. Many people, they are saying to me, Papa, but how come people who are doing juju, People who are touching this, people who are doing this, they are progressing. And we are not progressing. They are buying big cars. They are buying mansions. Eh? They are eating big. But we are just eating, uh, uh, what do you call it, these things? Matemba. Matemba is even better. Ma eh? Oh, you like it, eh? All right, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, so, but it's, why is it that we go through that? Hallelujah. Why is it that we are not enjoying? Amen. Yeah. Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. Listen to the devil of God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 45. I answered people. I said to them, this is the answer I give to people, and I'm going to give to you right now. Read it if you can, please. Don't waste time. Pastor Talent, if you find it while he's wasting his time, you also read it. We have no time. Chapter 5, yes. verse 45. Uh -huh. 45, yes. 45, and this is the word of the Lord. Yes. In that way, in that way, you will be acting as true children of your father in heaven. Uh -huh. You'll be what? In acting, that, you'll be what? You'll be acting as the true children of your father in, in that heaven. way. You'll be acting as the true children of the father of your father. Amen. So you'll be doing things as your father do. Okay. Continue. For he gives his sunlight to both now, evil. Now listen to this. He said, "For he said for this reason." You are going to act like what? Your father in heaven. You are going to live like your father in the heaven. If your father does this, you also be you need to be able to what? To do it. 
Hallelujah. 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 He said, your father in heaven. You must act like him. And the next one is say what? For he gives his son For light. For he gives what? He light. gives his son light. You hear that? He gives his son light. Yes? To both the evil and the good. To both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and the unjust. He sends rain to just and the unrighteous. This is a thing that sometimes we don't understand. My papa, how is it that they are progressing? They are doing prophetic. You know, they are doing all this uh, uh, fake miracle, uh, fake, uh, fake prophetic. And uh, how come are they? Why is it that they are, people are flocking there? Listen, the light was coming down from the fake and for the genuine. So God cannot stop them because God himself is said, I send the sun for the evil and for the good. We will never stop to see that. They will continue being this. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible said there, it said, you are my son. You should act as me. But we as the children of God, we don't act as the children of God. Now, them, they are not children of God, but they try to act like God. And if anyone trying to act like God and claiming the word of God, God will still bless them. Hello? You don't understand? If anyone, the Bible says, if anyone call on the name of Jesus, it did not say that if Christian call on the name of Jesus, if anyone even the evil, when they call in the name of Jesus, God answer their prayer. That's the reason why you see fake pastors, they see performing miracles. That's why you see they are doing a lot of things. And it's coming to pass. Then you say, ah, but what is happening? No. It is only about the discernment of the spirit. You will have a discernment of the spirit. Then you know this one is man of God and this one is not the man of God. Because you've got a discernment of what? The spirit. But the problem here is that you as a child of God, it is not in your place to be spending your time. Okay? To be spending your time. To be envying or wasting your time on what they do. No. That's the reason why we're not progressing. Remove your eyes on what they do you are able and capable to do more than what they are doing. If only you know that whatever they are doing, they are using the same power that is with your father. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is why you see those fake people. They don't have a time. No matter how you insult them, no matter how you criticize them, they keep doing. Have you noticed that? They keep doing. But you see, Christian, they'll be spending time 24 hours on, online criticizing. Hey, this one affect, this one affect. While you are criticizing them, they are progressing. Are you with me? Instead of you criticizing, do what is genuine so that when people they see what you do, they will compare with what they do. You do not need to begin to criticize, but you need to go to do something that will make people to see that this is from God. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Stop wasting time on critics. Amen. Stop wasting time on critics. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the world the way Elijah cannot speak, the prophet of Baal will reign. As long as that Elijah does not speak, the prophet of Baal will reign. So if Elijah wants to speak, there's no need to speak. Prove yourself that you are Elijah so that the prophet of Baal will be eliminated. There's nothing about too much talk. It's about demonstrating the power of God. But how do you demonstrate the power of God? Just by talking. The Bible says the word of God is not consist only by power and action. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! You are in the light of you are the light of world of the world, but you live like in the darkness. You keep crying that nothing is working for me. 
But how is it that they are doing and things are working for them? Hallelujah. They are, they are working, things are working for them. But you are a child of God. You pray 24 hours. You go to mountains. You go to the prayer. You go to, the, to do fasting. You do the, the retreat. But nothing is working. Look at the number. Say, are you doing that well? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The same God that you are calling on, they are also using the same God. In the same name they are calling. And God is blessing them. But why is it that you, God, is not blessing you? You are not serious. The reason why God is not blessing you because you are not serious. The things of God demand consistency. And when you do it, you keep doing it. And you are serious of what you are doing. You are believing on what you are doing. If you enter to a place, you say, I am the light of the world. It's not only by the word you said. When you claim it, you leave it. Hallelujah. When you claim it, you leave it. Hallelujah. I say, I am the light of the world. What are you, what are you, what are you shining? Eh? What are you shining? I am the light. Are you shining? What are you shining? You are the light. Amen. Amen. Something is in you that you must bring out. That when the world they see, they say, wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that you see happen to people, it is the influence of the light. If a gift is in you, and that gift, if it's affected by the light, the whole world will see it. Because anything that is in the light cannot be hidden. Even when people they look at you, like they say, wow, she can sing. No, it's not about your singing. They are seeing the light. It is that light that they are seeing. When that light affects your life, whatever is in you will be seen. The gift of God in you will be seen. Hallelujah. That is why you need to be serious to yourself. Do not live a limitation life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, you're supposed to be proud being the light of the world. Being a, a child of God. You know, normally and according to the, you know, the reality, it is the, the fake people that are supposed to copy the real people. Right? But today, you see, even the real people they are copying the fake people. Hallelujah. You see fake people. They are copying the real people. But what is in you is greater than him. Why are you copying? Be the reason why you are copying because you do not know how to use what is inside of you. They know how to use it. That's why they are making impact. Hallelujah. Sometimes they might not even make impact. Sometimes they might even come and start using what is in you to make impact in their life. But yourself, nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are living in the world of confusion. Hallelujah. Amen. But you must know that you can do anything as a child of God. God has never deprived anyone to do anything. God has never deprived anyone to do anything. Anything you want to do in this world, you can do it. As long as you believe in God. Anything you want to do in this world, you can do it. As long as you believe what? In Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Philippians, it said that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall and every tongue shall what? Confess that Jesus Christ is what? Listen for me. The name of Jesus, every knee shall what? Continue. Oh, you don't know it. Uh -huh. Some of you are saying, some of you, some of you are hearing, you, there are some people are saying me. Some of you are saying me, some of you are saying, in the name of Jesus, every, 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 head, shall, and every head shall bow. Some of you are saying, every head shall bow. I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing all that too. <laughs> they did not say head, and they did not say, they say every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I'm the, I'm the light of the world. Listen for me. I want to tell you something. The light of the world. You can influence the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you read the word there, 
I was looking for that version. I was saying that I was saying, put uh, Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1, but uh, uh, the living translation on any other version on the screen there. And you will see, when the Bible talking about in the beginning, God created what? Heaven and earth. On the Jam uh, King James, you say heaven. Okay? To specify heaven being heaven. But it was not a heaven, it was heavens. Okay? God, if you go down, you hear that God was separating firmament. So there were so many spaces. They call it spaces. Okay? So they were heavens. God created so many what? Heavens. Hallelujah. Ah, I like that. Now, one day, as I was meditating the word, and I, I, I finished and I was preaching, I went to, I think it was in Gabon, then someone was asking me, said to me, man of God, I hear people, they are calling you the man of Paravinto. <laughs> if, what is Paravinto? <laughs> I laughed. I said, well, of course. <laughs> Paravinto is, is, you don't know Paravinto? He said, I don't know Paravinto. I said, you don't read your Bible very well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at them and say, I am the light of the world. And the Bible said to me one day, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to come on that. The Bible said one day Jesus he was, he was, he was pulled, he was pushed to go to be crucified. Amen. Amen. He was pushed to be crucified. And Jesus was going to the cross. Oh, I like that. The Bible said a moment Jesus was on the cross. A moment Jesus was what? On the cross. They killed Jesus. And Jesus died. Amen. Oh, I like this revelation. And the moment Jesus died, according to the book of Luke chapter uh, uh, 23, verse 44, the Bible says, the moment Jesus died, what happened? The Bible says, darkness covered the world. And during that time, during that time, it was not night. Night. Hallelujah. It was not time for night. Can you put it there if you, if you can? Luke chapter 23 verse 44. The Bible says, during that time, there was, it was a daytime. It was afternoon. It was not evening. It was not night. But Jesus died. When Jesus gave up the ghost, when Jesus died, the Bible said the earth was covered. Is it there? These guys, I, I think they have a, something in their ear. I need to deliver them. I said 44, I did not say 24. Is your house, is, is your house number 24? That's why uh, he likes you putting your house numbers here. We are not in your house, we are in the house of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when Jesus died, what's up? What's happened? The Bible said the darkness. Uh -huh. Can you read for me quickly? And it was now about noon. It was now about what? Uh-huh. And darkness came over the whole land. Uh-huh. Until three. Darkness came over the whole land until what? Why did the darkness come? Why did darkness come? Because the giver of light died. Because the light itself died. Are you following me? <laughs> when you enter to the business and people business begin to crumble, you must know that you are full of darkness. When you enter a marriage, a man was, when the man marry you, he, he, he used to have even one, uh, the, the under feet. Then the under feet die, you will carry darkness. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When you enter a choir, the choir, they to sing well. By the moment you enter, people are you carry darkness. Yeah. Because a person who carry light, the moment he enter into your business, everything begin to shine. The marriage begin to shine. The business begin to shine. Your health begin to shine. That is why the Bible say, a moment Joseph enter in the house of Potiphar, everything in the house of Potiphar begin to shine. What do you carry? Do you carry a light or do you carry a darkness? Uh, ask your neighbor, say, I am suspecting you. Tell your neighbor, I'm suspecting you. 
Tell your neighbor, say, I am suspecting you. I'm... Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> it is important to understand the people you are working with. Some of the people, they don't carry light. They carry darkness. A moment they enter, they affect everything that you have. Why is it that <laughs> Hallelujah. <Amen>. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, I was laughing. Someone was making a joke. He said that uh, if you want to marry, marry women who are very light. <laughs> don't, don't marry those who are dark. <laughs> because when, when, they, when, when they enter in your life, when they enter in the house, the house will be very dark because they are really dark. <laughs> so you, you enter those who are light because by the moment they enter, they enter the house. Ah, uh-uh, that is a wrong. <laughs> that was a lie. That was a lie. We are not talking about skin light here. We are talking about the light inside of you. I don't care about my color. I don't care about my skin. I don't care about my size. I don't care about who I am. But what I know, I carry the light. If I enter your life, I bring light. If I enter your business, I bring light. If I enter your church, I bring light. If I enter your house, I bring light. I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Ay, ay, ay. Sit down a bit. Ah. Ay, ay. Look at them and say, 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 from today I need to know who you are. Tell the number, say, I need to know who you are. Ah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, a moment Jesus died. A moment Jesus died. The darkness came upon the earth. Why? Because the giver of light, the light himself is dead. And this is a question. This is a question I'm asking. Then you will understand something out, out of this. The question is this. When Jesus died, the Bible said, darkness came. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to this before we finish. The Bible says that Jesus, okay, Jesus died. Amen. Jesus died. My question, my question is this. When Jesus died, and the Bible said darkness covered the whole world. Now this question is this. So if Jesus died and darkness covered the world, now Jesus is the light of the world. And the Bible says that in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And God puts light in the world to shine the world. Now what is it was giving light to heaven? Because if earth need light, and the Bible says that God put some of the light in the sky. And Jesus is the light. Amen. When Jesus died, the darkness covered the earth. Now Jesus is the light. And you see the sign that the darkness covered the earth. So what light was shining the heaven? What was the light that shined the heaven when Jesus died now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is when you come to understand now certain things in the spirituality when you read the Bible the Bible very well and have the clarity from the word of God. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, as you know, is a name that was given to mankind. Jesus is the light of the world, but Jesus is not the light of heaven. Jesus is not the light of heaven, but Jesus is the light of the world. Not heaven. So in heaven, they do not need the light. Because the one that came here, he was a man. Sent in the name of Jesus. That is why the name of Jesus in heaven is irrelevant. The name Jesus in heaven is irrelevant. The name Jesus does not exist in heaven. The name Jesus gives us only an access on earth. When you call in the name of Jesus, whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, when heaven they hear it, 
they respect it and they give to you. But in the heaven, they do not need the name of Jesus for them to function because there's no Jesus in the heaven. Jesus, he was a name that was given on us to have access, dominion, and authority. Okay? That in that name, every knee shall bow. On earth, in the heaven, on, on the mention, he said, on the mention of that name. Where? Here. In the heaven, they don't mention the name of Jesus. Are you with me? In the heaven, there's no mention. They don't know any Jesus there. But if you mention that name, because that name, he was given authority over it. God blessed that name and give authority, give everything under that name. When you mention it, in the heaven, they listen to that name. They give you whatever you ask on that name. They respect that name. But he is not Jesus on heaven. Here is Jesus, but there is not Jesus. Proof that when he died, they, they, they added another name. He's now become Jesus Christ. Christ means anointed one. Meaning, when he was died, he was now gone. It was, there was a need for the Holy Spirit to come, to anoint the body that was died, to resurrect Jesus. That's why he's no longer Jesus. He's now Jesus Christ. The anointed one. Are you with me? Are you with me? That's why if you read about the Bible, you will, you will hear most of the time, Paul, when he mentioned, he does not mention Jesus. He mentioned Christ. He will say, Christ in us. The hope of glory. He will never mention Jesus. Because Jesus, it was only a name like, my name, Motondo. Your name is Primrose. Your name is Tafajwa. Your name is uh, 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 Tadiwa. Your name is, uh, that is a name that was given here on earth. The only difference between our names and his name, his name he was anointed. Are you with me? His name he was what? Anointed. So if you mention your name, right now, the demon does not know you. That is why that day when these children were casting the demons, and this one said, we know Paul. We know Jesus. Who are you? Because the name of Jesus is known on certain area but when you are the light of the world you carry that name on you meaning when you are claiming the name of Jesus you are gaining an access in the spiritual realm I want you to understand there is power in the name of Jesus but that Power. If you know it, you can begin to claim in that name. But you need to understand the power in that name. That name was not given for the earth and uh, for heaven, but it was given for you to use it here on earth. You are not using it. That's why nothing is happening. Heaven are not interested in using the name of Jesus. It is was given to you. Amen. It was given to you. But you are not using it. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not using it. The name of Jesus can enter anyway. But you must use it very well. Oh, Kayada. You must use it very well. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone said to me, Man of God, we hear Paravinto. We want to understand. Why Paravinto? I say, because you don't understand. I am the light of the world. I live in my own world. I am from here, but not from here. I am a spirit being. Dwell in the mortal body. That when you see my flesh, it is only the identification of a flesh to allow you to have access with me as a mortal body. But yet, I am a spirit being. I live in the spirituality. In the place that you cannot comprehend, only my access in the spiritual that I can enter. And when I enter, I enter with a spiritual code that you don't understand. That's why when you hear me shout to Paravinto, it is like a knock knock I enter. You don't understand the realm of the spirit. I want you to begin to understand. There are certain things in the spirit. The Bible said to me, the Bible said to me in the in in the book in the book of Hebrew, in the Bible said that in the book of Matthew, he repeat the same thing. The Bible said that no one has entered has, has entered heaven. No one has entered heaven. Oh, yeah. 
Let me make you read the Bible quickly. So that we, should, so that we go to the, the next di 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 dimension quickly. Le read it quickly. Relate a Ah. Mm. Let Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. Ah. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. No, no, wait on that one. Wait on that one. Let me, let me make you read first. Ah. Before you got on that one. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ah, yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, do you got the light? Do you got the light? Uh, ask your neighbor, say, do you got the light? <laughs> ask your neighbor, say, can you affect someone? Can you affect life? Ah. Oh, my goodness. Just give me one minute. I'm looking for it. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. John chapter 3, verse 18. Please read it for me. John chapter 3, verse 18. John chapter 3. You can put it on, on there if you can. John chapter 3, verse 18. 13, 13, 1, 3. Ah. And no man. No man. Hearts ascended up to heaven. Ah, yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for another version, but read it, read it, read it. No man. Yes. Okay, let me read the NLT version. No man. No one. Yes. Has ever gone to heaven and no returned. No one ever. No one has ever gone to heaven. Uh -huh. And returned. And returned. But the Son of Man has come down from but heaven. But the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. Jesus Christ comes from heaven. heaven. He comes from what? From heaven. heaven. Remember, I'm saying the son of man, man. not the son of God. Aye. The son of man, Aye. not the son of God. God. The son of man. man. Jesus, the son of man. Eh? Hey. Jesus, the son of man, comes from heaven. heaven. I am talking about the heaven where the spirit being lives. In the heaven, there is no mortality. Hey. There is no flesh. There is a spirit with the splendor and the glory of God. And the Bible said that no man, remember, he said no man. He did not say no spirit. He said no man. He said what? No man. As what? Is ever entered in. As ever entered. But Jesus Christ. Repeat again. Yes. And no one has uh -huh. ever gone to heaven. Never. No one has ever gone to heaven. And returned. And returned. But the son of man. But the son of man. Has come down from heaven. He comes down from heaven. He said no one has, has come down from heaven. And returned. But the son of man, a son of man, man. not the son of the spirit, Jesus, the son of man, he comes from heaven. Yep. And when he died, he entered the heaven. <laughs> and you are asking me, say, what is Paravinto? Paravinto is a code that you don't understand. I am a man of man, not a man of the spirit. I am the son of man. Born by the spirit of man, but my name is Sibi Motondo. When I say Paravinto, I knock in the heaven. For the Bible said, No man has entered. But let me prove you something no man has entered heaven except Jesus Christ. But I want to tell you, I enter heaven. I am a Paravinto man. He said to me, How do you enter heaven? For the Bible says, No man has entered heaven. Ah, you man of God, what are you trying to say to me? Read for me now, Hebrew. What did the Hebrew say? The first thing I give to you. What did Hebrew say? Hebrews chapter 5. Yes, put it there quickly. What did Hebrew say? Sharikata Bradusa Hinta. Ah, what did Hebrew say? Quickly, you are wasting my time. If you find this, read it. Jesus Christ, this one, you need prayers. Ah, yeah. 
Ah. Prophetic confusion. It Make was by faith Aya! that Enoch was taken up to heaven. Ah, repeat it, people are not listening to you. It was by faith. Aya, 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 aya. It was by faith. It was by faith. That Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He it disappeared. was by faith. That Enoch was entering heaven without dying. That means Enoch entered heaven with the flesh of a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. But the Bible says no one has entered heaven. No one has come down from heaven. No one has entered. But the Bible says it was by faith that Enoch entered heaven, heaven without dying. Second King chapter 2 verse 11. The Bible said to me, Elijah entered heaven. The chariot of fire was taken up to heaven. Then you say, man of God, I'm confused. So is it the word of God lying? No. The word of God is not lying. Is it what they are saying is wrong? I say, no. Nothing is wrong. But it's only the understanding of the word of God. No man has entered heaven. It simply means there is a heaven and heavens. There is a heaven of God and there's a heavens of means of God. Malikra bos karunde. There is a heaven and heavens. There are heavens of men and there are heavens of God. Uh, the heavens of men, it is created by the connection of a man and God. It is an alliance between a man and God. It is done by the covenant that a man can still create his own the realm that it dwell only between him and God so no one has entered heaven that heaven they are talking about it is a spiritual heaven but I am talking about my own heaven that called Paravinto I just need to I just need to I just need to say Paravinto I am entering in my realm Baruke Taruke Baruska Rumatia I don't know where I'm talking to. I don't know where I'm talking to. I, I am preparing to take you to my rooms. Ah, I want you to understand there are space in the spirit that you can penetrate. There are space in the spirit that you can enter. There are certain privileges that God has given to his own children. If you believe, I can take you from here and catapult you in the realm of the spirit. If you believe, I can knock the door and you enter and see what cannot people cannot see and do what people cannot do what you need to do is to believe what you need to do is to believe that you are the light of the world and the light can enter every way the light can enter every way they did not need the light in heaven. <laughs> oh, because Jesus in heaven is known as Lord. It's known as the Almighty God. It's known as Yahweh. It's known as Elohim. It's known the great God. It's not, it's not known as Jesus. It's known as Lord. The all-powerful one. The almighty one. The living God. The beginning and the end. The great I am. The ancient of day. Our everlasting father. The king of glory. The king of glory. The prince of peace. We don't need a Jesus in heaven. But we need a name of God. Name of Jesus was given to me and you here to, to, to use it in order to impact the world. In order to impact the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll shout Paravinto! Paravinto! Anytime when you shout those names, you must not shout it with lacking of faith. The Bible says, Enoch entered heaven by faith. faith. So whenever you declare, you declare by faith. And you say, by the moment I declare, I must, I must enter. And you shall enter. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The things of God is clear, but sometimes we are confused because we don't understand, because we are not taught. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is not any gates in the spirituality. Hallelujah. There is not any barrier in the spirituality. Hallelujah. 
but it's a li the limitation that comes for you to not enter. It is lack of faith. But once you got the faith, you have the access to begin to pass every realms until you reach where you want to get to, to, to reach. Yes. Because God, is God is a God of everyone. God is a God of those who are wicked, and God is a God of those who are good. If God can give access to people who are wicked, how much more you? How much more you, a child of God, if those who are wicked, those who are not serving God, those who are not right with God, they are having access. How much more you, a son of God, a child of God, a servant of God? It is possible. It is possible. This year, it is your year to shine. Whether the devil likes it or not, is it a year to shine? I receive whatever was it was dead in your body. Aya, he must receive life. Are take aya. Aya, he must receive life. Whatever was dead in your life must receive light in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever was dead in your life must receive light in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. There is power. Yes. There is power. Yes. On the mansion. Yes. Of that name. Yes. You are the light of the world. I receive. Jesus live in you. I receive. From today. I receive. You need to impact. Yes. Everywhere you enter. Yes. People must see a different. I receive. Everywhere you enter, people must see a different. I receive. Because instead of you. Yes. There's a light. Yes. Don't be distracted. Yes. Power of God is here. Don't be distracted. <laughs> You see, how, you see how he's afraid? You see how he's afraid? You see how he's afraid? If you only believe, the demon will begin to run like this. They can only see and they're afraid of what they see. Of all they see. You can only believe. Yes. If you have faith, yes. the demon cannot resist you. Yes. The witchcraft cannot resist you. Yes. On the mention of that name, yes. you are the light. I'm the light. When the light arrives, the yes. darkness must be illuminated. Yes. Thank God for the God Prophet. He's just amazing.